Hey beauties, today we're going to be doing another hair transformation. I'm actually trying to match some tape and extensions that I will be applying in a different video, but that is the goal today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra. I post lots of fashion and beauty content, lots of hair highlighting, DIY type of thing. And then I do also do fashion hauls in between all of my hair videos. If you enjoy that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button down below. Let's go ahead and get started with this bleaching video. Ah, I always get so nervous bleaching my hair every single time. I don't know why, but I do. I am using a highlighting cap. It's been a while since I did my last highlighting cap video and it was terrible. It's up to 2 million views. I feel like when I use the comb, it gives me a lot of highlights and I'm just kind of looking for dimension rather than going blonde. So we're gonna be using this and of course we're gonna need some bleach. So I'm using my trusty old Blonde Me bleach. This is actually the developer that it comes with and this is the can of bleach that I got on Amazon. I've used this so many times and it is worth spending extra money on this if you do regularly bleach your hair. If you don't, I totally recommend box bleach, honestly, which is what I used in my last highlighting caps video and the color was amazing. I've used it several times over and I really actually don't mind box bleach. Before applying the cap, I'm actually gonna brush all my hair back because when I'm pulling my hair, it's gonna pull evenly across the front of my hairline. So my highlights look even when I pull my hair back. I do wear my hair up a lot. You can also part it just wherever you part your hair. You wanna pull it down tight and then tie this up. So glamorous, I know. Taking the little pick, I'm actually gonna start on these front two rows. I'm gonna try and pull every hole from the front two rows cause I do want some like face framing highlights and then I'll probably just do the marked holes cause I don't want a lot, a lot of highlights. I just want, again, some dimension. Got done with the front parts. I went about three holes back. Once I'm done, I do just like to brush it through and make sure there's not any knotting or anything like that. And all the hair that got pulled through actually made it through. Now I'm gonna do just the marked holes. Just clipping this back so it gets out of my face. Two thousand years later. I think I got most of it, but there's just this one little spot right here that I can't really see with the mirror. I called in backup. Yeah, what are you return? Doing a thank you. And? A thank you. And what else? That's it. I don't get a kiss Come or nothing? On. You want one? Yeah. Okay, after. <laughs> I taught her my seven Okay. <laughs> It'll sit right there. Just the blue spots. There should be only like four. The blue spots? Yeah, just the blue dots. Oh. Find the hole closest well, there's... to the blue dot. Oh, so not the ones in between? Yeah. All right, so hold on. This is my first time doing this. I don't think it is. Why? I think you've helped me in another video. I don't think I have. I think you have. How much hair am I pulling through this hole? Not a lot. Okay, well. <laughs> I, that's, that's the same. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Stop moving. <laughs> Sorry. This is technique, girl. <laughs> Messing up my technique. Whoa, I pulled, might have pulled a little too much hair through It's that fine, hole. it's the bottom. 
You're good. Thank you. Taking all this hair that didn't get pulled through the cap and tying it back. Put my cape on with this hair. Tuck the end of the cape, that way I don't bleach it. I'm just brushing all of this out to make sure that I get everything that's gonna be highlighted through the hole. Taking one scoop of this bleach. One, two scoops of developer. Now I'm just mixing it all up. I am going to do the top section first. I'm taking the bleach on my hand and I'm actually gonna start from the top just because I need that part to really lift because that's my natural hair. The bottom of my hair has been previously bleached and dyed. Okay, as you can see, my ends are already lightening. So I'm gonna try and work quickly. I did get everything saturated. Just pulling it up. And I'm just going to put this shower cap over it. Hey Siri, set a 30 minute timer. 30 minutes, starting now. I'll be back in 30 minutes to check on progress. What the cap does is it keeps the bleach wet so that the bleach doesn't dry out because when it does dry out, it stops processing. Timer is up. It definitely lightened. I'm gonna rinse out and I'm actually gonna wash all of my hair because I do wanna tone all of my hair. I am going to use my Fanola Anti-Orange Shampoo. This is a blue shampoo and it does help tone your hair. After I do that, I'm gonna go in with toner. So let me just wash this out. Okay, I haven't washed it with the blue shampoo yet, but I wanted to show y'all what it looks like before I use it. Just because I have mentioned that I've only toned with blue shampoo before, so I want y'all to see what it looks like without it and with it. So there's the before. Here is after the blue shampoo. I actually did put in two of these Madison Reed Strength Pro Boost hair treatments. It says after shampoo, remove excess water from hair, apply and leave on for five minutes and then rinse. Then we will do toner, <laughs> but it's actually looking pretty good. Okay, so here's what it looks like after just washing my hair. Let's go in with toner. It says to do one part toner with two parts cream developer. I'm just gonna use this same scoop. It's basically the whole tube. So that was anti-climatic, climactic, anti-climatic, whatever. You guys know what I mean. There's not much of a difference in my hair color and it's because of the toner. I don't know why I went with a level six. I should have just stuck with a level eight, but I just didn't want to go too light for these extensions. So I'm going to try a bleach bath. Fingers crossed that it works because I've never done one before, but I also don't want to have to pull all my hair through a cap again. <laughs> So we're gonna try it. If y'all don't know my hair history, I do have highlights underneath dark hair dye and then I did obviously highlight my hair again and then add toner. So my hair is pre-lightened underneath all this darkness. So I'm hoping that the bleach pulls pretty quickly. Now I'm just going to wet my hair in this tub. I'm just gonna mix bleach with blue shampoo. There's half the scoop of bleach. 
I'm also going to do half a scoop of developer, half a scoop of shampoo. Maybe I should section it. I like how this video turned into me just experimenting with bleach baths. It's something I never tried. It's kind of been fun. <laughs> It does seem a little bit lighter. That's a good sign. I'll probably let this sit about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna watch it though. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like after the bleach bath. I'm still going to tone my hair again. This time I got the eight in light natural blonde and again i'm trying to match some extensions i personally feel like it's a little orange josh and my best friend both told me that it's more of like a chocolatey brown i don't know i guess i'm just paranoid that my hair is orange <laughs> you totally could have avoided doing the bleach bath if you picked the right toner color but I don't know, I feel like I just picked it in a hurry and it ended up being super dark, which is why I did have to go back in with the bleach bath. But again, I do not regret that. If you are like me and you do have highlights underneath your hair dye, I would try just the bleach bath unless you're wanting highlights, you know, closer to your root. But if you're just trying to lift old color, a bleach bath is the way to go. It does not lift as fast or as much as as just going in with bleach and 30 volume developers. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix the toner with the Color Charm activating lotion. This one is specifically designed to go with this one. So I'm gonna do one scoop of this and two scoops of this, and then I'm just gonna apply it like I did the last time. And I'll be back to show y'all these results. <laughs> This is all applied. I'm gonna leave on for 20 minutes. Here are my results. I mean, it's not the most dramatic hair transformation I've ever had, but it is what I said I wanted. Now it is a dimensional chocolatey brown, whereas before it was like a darker, almost black, dark brown. No highlights or dimensions in there. It was just one solid color. Here's the thing. With the cap, it doesn't typically get the bottom of your hair, which I completely forgot. So I'm kind of glad that I did have to go back with that bleach bath because if you can see down here it's pretty dark up in this area but like down here it gets lighter that is all my old balayage that I had before I put in that dark brown color so it did pull some of that permanent hair dye another thing is when I side part the highlights look really nice and even also when I pull my hair back they do look pretty even in my hairline but when I middle part them they are not even at all thinking I might go back and redo my hair and go for like a chunky ashy highlight color and that's another thing is that I was trying to match those hair extensions for some reason I kept thinking they were a warm color when they're actually pretty ashy I really wish I would have taken them to Sally's with me to buy the toner because I was just trying to remember what they look like and it would have been better if I just taken them with me so they don't match the extensions and also there's just some imperfections that I would like to go back and fix. I wouldn't say that this is a complete fail because the highlights themselves do look pretty good but I think that once I started with the bleach I poked the bear 
and fed my addiction. So now I just want it like light and bright again. But this color definitely isn't something that I couldn't live with. What do you guys think? Is this a win or a fail? Let me know down in the comments below. I think I have an idea on what my next process is gonna be to get those chunky balayage highlights. But if you have any suggestions or advice, definitely let me know down in the comments. You guys were so, so helpful when I ended up with orange roots. I know that you guys are gonna be very helpful this time as well. So I'm open to some advice and suggestions. Also, it really helps out everyone else that watches my content. It's definitely a livable color. Like I think if I just wanted to leave this, I would be pretty happy with it. It's a nice chocolatey warm color, which I actually don't mind. Those are my results. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful in any way, shape, or form. And if you guys wanna see me attempt a chunky balayage highlight, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I do have my whole hair history up on YouTube. So I will also link my hair playlist in the description box below. Be sure to check the description box, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button to see more hair content. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.